it's me again back on the blogs this time this time i was on hollywood unlocked and i noticed a very interesting post about a woman that works at home depot people were just kind of like why does she work at home depot and that was pretty much what she was highlighting like you know people tell her that she's too pretty for her job but she's like i like working here and i like mixing paint homegirl was minding her business not necessarily expecting to go viral there's always that possibility that a person can go viral but that doesn't seem to have been her intention she was simply speaking to a reality that she faces and that people are looking at her like what are you doing working here naturally this story gains a lot of attention which includes a dm from shaq shaq but she posted this DM from Shaq and it was just not, she didn't even do it in the spirit of anything mean. She also includes uh, the overlay. When Shaq texts, you know you're doing something right, okay? I can't speak to Shaq's intentions. All I know is that from the dialogue, it is just surface wise. He ain't say nothing wrong. He ain't say nothing crazy. And she did not respond crazy. If you have an idea or a read on who you think Shaq is, this is very on brand with Shaq. He says, don't let them people bother you. She said, thank you, Shaq. And he said, don't read the comment stuff like that will drive you crazy. And that was it. And to be fair, y'all, and all y'all were saying like, oh, she was clout chasing. Old. She wasn't clout chasing. She was not. She wasn't in Shaq's inbox. You know, he inboxed her. So how is that clout chasing? What, you know, listen, the world that we live in, if somebody even says hello to you, you don't know where that's going. You know, that's why when people like be like, yo, send me a picture to my phone. I'd be like, nah, whatever you want to see, that's, that's online. Don't, nah, you know, I'm not sending you no special nothing. You're not, you're not special. You're going to see what everybody else sees. So if I want to be online, acting a fool, twerking or doing whatever I want to do, you're going to see what everybody else sees. You're not getting no special twerks over here. No special twerks. So I says, y'all keep talking about she fumbled the bag, but I get the impression she's really that wholesome and I'm mad people are mad about that. Pena or Navia doll says to me, but why share the DM if she's so wholesome? I said, because the DM wasn't even an obvious holler. Not saying he wasn't trying to, but it doesn't necessarily prove that he was. If she was plotting, she wouldn't have said anything. You know, she was excited. Like, I don't understand what the big deal is about her sharing this DM because it wasn't exposing Shaq in some creepy way. It was encouraging. Black Milk underscore 89 says to me, Coco Puff, she could have messed up an amazing business opportunity. I said, Black Milk underscore 89, how is that? She didn't drag him. She didn't make it seem like anything other than what it was on the surface. He knows who he is. He DMs 99% of people. They'd have acted a damn fool. Remember that chick that went straight to the blogs just because LeBron viewed her stories? This isn't giving that at all. High perspectives art came through with the word. Word. Cocoa Puff. They so used to city girl culture, they forget this girl is in college and won't have to depend solely on a man for finances. Every girl ain't a gold digger or want to be one. Huh. Ain't that something? So many of the comments are calling her either a clout chaser or trying to put her onto game. Yeah, everybody doesn't want the same things, right? Everybody's not motivated by like being somebody's concubine or being somebody's kept woman. Y'all see how Mariah Mills is acting out there? She is losing it on Twitter. She's having a one-sided conversation over some money and some D. This is crazy. Chill. This conversation has gotten so out of control. And even on the extreme conservative side of things, like, oh, finally, a woman is, you know, she's respect herself and she just want to mix paint and y'all ain't out here with. Again, I'm not here to judge what people decide to do for a living or what they feel like they're comfortable with in their life. That's not for me to judge. And that's not for me to take a moral sort of seat on as far as what y'all need to be doing. That it's your life, it's not mine. I feel very uncomfortable with people trying to steer others in directions that they would go if they were that person. It's projection and it's not cool. You know, telling people like, oh girl, if it was me, I'd have my legs up and I'd have, you know, sent, check my, my, uh, my coordinates and girl, you should have kept the DM to yourself. The DM was innocent. So y'all think that, oh, she fumbled the bag. So if she fumbled the bag because of that, there'll be other bags. The girl's very marketable. She's a very beautiful girl, okay? So she fumbled Shaq's bag, which is not like that because Shaq has, has responded on other blogs and he's totally cool with the interaction. He, like, again, he knows who he is. He knows who he is. Anyway, I want to know what you all think about this. Am I tripping by just saying, like, I thought it was a pretty innocent interaction? Everybody on some level, on some scale is dateable, okay? You know, she lives in a town where if she was on that type of time, she don't have to be working at no Home Depot. And y'all know that. 